If you look closely at the LEDs in this fretboard, you'll notice that they're about a millimeter above it. And what we want is for it to be completely flush with the fretboard so that when we have to mill out part of the neck, we don't have to mill out as much. We just have to account for the wire height, which really isn't that much at all. So what I would like to do is go through and remove every single one of these, which is why I use hot glue, and then make the holes at the base a little bit larger so that the base of the LED can actually fit all the way through and hopefully be flush with the rest of it. Okay, so I don't know if I covered this, but I went out and actually got a countersink to do this to make the holes a little bit wider. And you can see that now I'm completely done with the entire neck. And then you will notice the LEDs actually sit a little bit flusher than they did before. So now it's time to go through and apply our hot glue back onto the LEDs and keep them in place. And another thing you want to keep in mind is be careful that the hot glue doesn't spill out onto the fretboard. Try to keep it contained within here. And then this way it won't get in the way when it comes time to wire this. Okay, so I've just got done soldering this fret of lights. And notice how there's barely any glue on there. There's a little bit, and if any overflows, you can always just scrape it off. But this one's looking pretty good. Um, also notice that it goes from anode, cathode, sorry, cathode, anode, anode, cathode, cathode, anode, and continues on like that the rest of, for the rest of that pattern. Um, this is when we wire it up. All the anodes will be connected, and all the cathodes will be connected this way. So I want to try to maintain this pattern the entire way down the fretboard so it's easy to wire up in the long run. What I'd like to do is go over really quick as to how the lighting of this LED matrix works. You see, this is a very poor drawing of the LEDs that we are going to be using. There's a shorter end, known as a negative side or anode, and then there's a positive end, known as a cathode. Now, if we hook it up essentially to a battery like such, you get light through the LED. At any point, if you ever disconnect one of these sides, the light goes out. This is the schematic of an LED. There's a positive side, which corresponds to that positive side, and a negative side, which corresponds to this negative side. Now, when we're making a matrix with all these, with all these lights, we have to tie it in such a way that there's less wiring. So, you notice that this has its own row and all the negatives are tied together. Again, up top, this has its own row and all of its negatives are tied together, and so on. Now you notice all of the columns are tied together with the positive ends. And then all these columns share the same positive ends too, and again, so on. So, if we wanted to light just this light right here, what we would do is essentially tell the Arduino to hook this line up to the positive side of the battery and this line to the negative side of the battery. So you see it would go through here, light up the light, and that's pretty much it. And that's how you'd get the light to light an LED matrix. Okay, I've already tinned this lead right here. So I'm just going to reheat it up with the soldering iron as I attach the wire to it. And I'm trying to get as close to the base as possible. Hopefully I don't melt anything. There we go, and it seems, seems to be pretty tight. Okay, so the next step I want to do is take this wire and align it with all the grounds of the LEDs in this entire row. Now that I have my wire laying, laying against all the grounds, I'm going to take and solder the wire onto the grounds right now. 
I'm hoping that the wire is so thin that it'll actually burn off the casing with the soldering iron and then once the metal is exposed solder it to the leads. So let's give it a try. So right now we I have the two lines done and then I'm just want to go over and show you how this process is coming along. This has been the most difficult process of the entire build so far. So I just want to make this a little bit easier and show you how I'm doing it and what I've learned from soldering all of these. Alright, the first thing that I do is hold the wire, is it this one? Yeah, hold the wire away from the lead and then just start burning away this insulation that's on it. Before I was holding it too close to the LED and the hot glue would melt and then the LED would start to become loose again. And then like, be very patient because this takes forever. Okay, now that the wire is bare, clean off your soldering tip. Get yourself some solder and just tin the exposed wire. Okay, don't want that soldered on. And then now just still on with the wire away from the lead you want to tin the very base close as possible you can get to the LED of that of the lead and I've been using the screwdriver to help keep the wire away from the LED for now Okay, now that you have the wire tinned and the base of the LED tinned, what you want to do is hold them next to each other. And then solder the two connections together. Just reheat the solder on both. And I actually solder the wire high on the LED and then push it down once they're melted together and then let it cool and then you can back off and just double check and make sure that not a lot of solder is sticking out because we're going to have to cut all the leads of the LEDs and you don't want to have to break the solder connection and you see there it's lighting so that means we soldered it good and we can move on to the next one I just want to say before I go, this has been the most frustrating part of the entire build. Um, the wires are really difficult to melt, but it ends up looking the nicest in the end. Uh, I've actually been doing this since yesterday, and this has probably taken me four hours just for the wires alone. Probably doesn't help that I'm watching TV while doing it, but it's going to take a while. I'm going to leave off the last wire that I just soldered with you guys and pick this up sometime next week. So. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you later.